What is up? What's good, Mousetrap Gang? It's your boy Mouse, and we're back with a whole nother video, man. And man, we were trying to get back into the rhythm uh, of this car audio stuff, man. Uh, like I said, the flu, man, that, that stuff going around, it, it is horrible for health, man. And it, and it just gets too much in the way with everything, man. But, you know, we're trying to overpass it and get through it and get back on the rhythm of everything, man. So uh, let me show you something. If you are new to the channel, we build boxes. We build door panels, we wire up amps, and man, we just have a good time. We just have a good time. So definitely subscribe to the channel, man, because we do a little bit of everything on this channel, man. So hit that subscribe button and turn that notification to all to stay updated every time we drop a video. I'm gonna show you guys one quick reason why I'm gonna do door panels in my truck and why I really want to do the system lit. If you got kids, you can relate to this stuff, man. You know, these kids, they hop, run, play, all kinds of stuff, toys on the side, slamming doors. You already know what's up. This is one of the reasons why we're gonna do the door panels. Uh, it is broken, so instead of just buying a whole new door panel, man, let's just slap some tins, uh, vinyl, tweeters, horns, whatever we gotta do to make sure this door look beautiful and uh, be really loud. And you see like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like dry, wet spots on it. So uh, we are going to go ahead and, you know, do the new door panel and make sure all that is fixed and it looks very pretty. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should we do door panels that have like the rings and then do rings, uh, tweeters, and then the piece of plexiglass with the YouTube name? Or should we do what they call them the signature style door panels, which is um, this... Uh, speakers behind the grill mesh uh, like something similar what I did on for that con uh, the console and the, the rear speaker pod the titty panel uh, Let me know in the comments what you guys think man. Should we which style should we go for? I really want to do the speaker mesh uh, the grill mesh door panels uh, because it's a lot smoother look but man mounting those doors and I really don't want to do any visible screws on there uh, so we're gonna, you know, still it's up, it's up in the air what we're gonna do, man. But let me know in the comments. You know, you guys are gonna help me. This is gonna be our YouTube truck, man. You know, we're gonna go and make sure that we have LED plexiglass that has our YouTube name, so everybody knows when we pull up, man. This truck is from YouTube. I'm almost thinking about, you know, maybe like this section right here, uh, grill mesh with like maybe like two tens, and you know, an eight, and then maybe like some uh, a horn tweeter. Uh, two tweeters and then like in this area right here uh, do like a, like a pretty badass shape with plexiglass on the back and you know the YouTube logo with it you know glowing red uh, it should look pretty cool so we'll see what happens but let me know in the comments what you guys think man should we do the grill insert door panels or the regular speaker rings or try to do a mixture of both man, there's so much like car audio stuff everywhere right here it is ridiculous. It is, you know, we got kicker CVR down there, the blown kicker 2500, clear and Q, sundown speakers. I do need to uh, build uh, my homeboy a city panel, but you know, he's not really in a rush for it. But we are eventually going to get to it. So check these DS18 tweeters out. Let me know what you think. These guys are nowhere near the size of the other Selenium tweeters that I got. And we are going to put those other bigger tweeters in the bed of the truck, man. But look, check these things out, man. These things, no lie, it actually is pretty heavy. And it is pretty, probably pretty loud. Look, it even says, what's it say? We like it loud. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, it's a DS18 horn. My friend had uh, brought it over to let me look at it and to let me know what we think, what I thought about it. He was trying to put these in the console. But this is just way too deep to even put in a console to make it look nice. It will really be bulky and it will look so cool. So I don't know what what to do with it. I think, you know, we'll just end up just building a panel and just trying to slap them in the back away from everything. But still be, you know, seen so it could be loud. So I don't know. Too, it's too big for my liking. DS18, I mean, I really haven't messed with that brand. So I really can't give an honest opinion on it. We'll probably do it in the build. Probably won't, but it's going to go back in the box for right now. As for today's video, I'm actually just going to make a quick little shopping list. Man, I lost my pen. A quick little shopping list of a few things that I need to get from Home Depot so we can go forward with our build. I'll go through my drawers real quick. Look, I really don't like stuff that 
I just have my stuff everywhere, man. But look, another clear on EQ. Uh, this is good for, you know, the turning gains up on amps. Let me organize this stuff, man, because when the boy was working last, man, so much stuff got unorganized. And I really don't like to be like, oh my god, what is this, what is that? Man, it's time to get to work. Okay, so pretty much inside this thing, I really don't need much inside here. Hammer was just giving me hell. I don't know if you guys can see inside there, but man, there's a hammer inside there and it was just sticking up. I'm gonna let that drawer close. Look, you see it's still pointing up. So let's get this. Going. What is going on around here? I don't know. There's nothing else sticking out. Oh well, we'll see. I'll still open up. Okay, so basically, I know that I need jigsaw blades. Jigsaw blades, and then I really suck at spelling, guys. So don't judge me. Black paint, black flat paint. I always like to paint everything black flat, flat black. And we need inch and a quarter drywalls, inch and five eight drywalls. Let me think, let me think, maybe one inch drywalls as well. A uh, gallon of wood glue. And of course we're going to use the Gorilla Glue. Liquid nails. Um... Silicone, self tappers, and I'm just gonna walk around real quick and look at my stuff and you know, jot some stuff down. As you can see, you know, I do a, little, a lot of the work over here at my parents' house because where I actually stay, I can't really work like that out there because it's just too crazy out there and so it's nice and quiet over here away from everything and if I work over there where I actually live at man so many people will try to pull up hang out and I'd never get nothing done so I really just like to work alone uh, knock out these projects and get everything done as fast as possible and you know you concentrate better when you're alone man you know what I'm saying definitely 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 I need a new uh, set a uh, wire stripper so let's write that down But I'm going to have to go to uh, Harbor Freights for that guy because this guy, I think at the time, I paid like $4.99 for it. And it's been my best friend. And you see, I got this liquid nails, heavy duty. Um, that one seems like it's halfway. This one seems like it's halfway. So we can uh, get new ones. Look, I have the LED strips right here. I have another uh, like two rolls that's full of it but we still need to do a full set of LEDs and LEDs for everything else so we know we need to get more okay oh yeah I definitely need grinding disc I'm pretty sure as I go um, Uh, as I go, um, I'll end up picking up a lot more stuff. And as I start getting into Home Depot, I'm just going to buy a bunch of random that I stuff. I actually was thinking about doing, and I have this little table right here, but I really need to secure it a little bit better. Um, I was actually thinking about making it a router table. So I would have to, you know, maybe uh, use like laminate wood and do a piece of plexiglass. And you know, through uh, get my bigger big boy router mounted from underneath, and I actually have like the router bit that's not an actual router bit. I'll show it to you right now, and you know it cuts stuff pretty good. So if I need to make a lot of symmetrical stuff, uh, it it really does come in handy because it just cuts through that wood like nothing. But obviously, I like to cut a lot of the excess off of it, and um, so it's a lot easier and it just goes right through it like like um, a hot knife through butter. So I actually cleaned a lot of my stuff out the other day 
and this is the stuff that was left over sandpaper and like bondo and stuff like that i never really much worry about it same thing as fiberglass because uh if you guys watched any of my previous videos um man we got the plug on that because my dad actually works at yellowfin and yellowfin is like the the best uh, marine boat place uh you know boat company that there is so we really get high grade uh fiberglass resin through him so big shout out to pops man he makes sure that we use the best of the best for every build that we do okay so you know i have these one inch staples uh but that's that'll probably be used for door panels but remember i do have the inch and three quarter inch uh quarter inch crown staples that i use for old faithful right here oh snap so okay yeah, I, I think we pretty much got a little list going on. You know, obviously we need wood, but um, that's just the primary stuff that we need when we go. So what I'm actually going to start off with first is I'm going to actually start off with doing the floor. And I actually have Pops actually bringing me some resin uh, today and tomorrow. And I'm just going to go to Walmart and just buy the biggest box they have, a fiberglass map. And then we're gonna cut out every single piece of the wood for the floor and then we're gonna fiberglass mat it on both sides and then we are gonna do uh, we're really gonna test out a uh, the spray cans uh, like the bed liner because I really want to do the bed liner material because it works good with the element of rain and you know other stuff so um, but now the only problem with that is it does spray rocky so really trying to get stuff to sit flat that's going to be impossible you know but we'll try to get it as much as, as best as possible uh because we we want everything to be you know nice and level we don't want the box getting tweaked up or any of that stuff so we're gonna work with it we're gonna try to get everything dead on and so everything's you know level um perfectly uh as much as possible waiting 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 for this school to get out because uh, my daughter's actually supposed to come from Texas and you know she's gonna be here with us all day and you know we have the kids um, gonna be here with me but you know she's like 17 18 years old and she can sit there and hang out with the kids while I'm outside working but I mean of course I have to you know stick my head you know inside here and see what they got going on because even though she's 18 these kids are five six seven man the it's you already know what it is I don't even need to explain anything so, you know, tomorrow I am going to go to Home Depot and get all the wood that I need for the flooring. And then, you know, start cutting pieces out, resin them up, and, you know, line X them. With, I, I always call it line X. I don't know why. Uh, you know, that's just a company that's literally, like, over the bridge and everybody gets everything done. But bed liner, we're going to bed line everything. Uh, so the floor is every everything is done with that and then we can start building the box so i plan on building the box then i don't know if i want to cut the bed already but i might as well cut the bed already so we can have the box uh already sitting in there flush but i am going to dynamite that back wall because uh, i don't want to hear any road noise because we cut the the bed out the through uh the cab and the uh, the bed so and I'm going to show you guys secrets on cutting the bed out, man, because I see a lot of people cutting beds out, and there are tricks to it. I, it, I, it really sucks when people cut from inside the cab through the bed because the inside of the cab has actually dropped a little bit more than the actual bed. So basically when you cut from the cab, from in the cab through the outside of the bed, it like has like a slope like that and then your accordion boot is at an angle versus instead it should be nice and flat and you know we're going to make sure that we do a full wrap around of the accordion boot and you know we're going to um, silicone it all up that's why we need the silicone uh, so no water gets in there and, and none of that stuff and we're going to cut that hole a little bit big because we want to be able to tuck the wires everything nice and neat and if you've seen the previous video uh where i forgot what video it was um man my friends actually built the silverado and they that thing so was hot really outside cool. that the camera overheated and it shut off uh, when it says battery exhausted um that means that the bad the, the camera got too hot and it's time to come inside <laughs> but anyway so like i was saying so my friends built the silverado and that actually 
inspired me to go ahead and go a little harder on the build and we're going to man so we're gonna like really take this thing to the not the highest limit but in fabricating man we're gonna get down man we're gonna definitely get down because when I work on my trucks I can you know push the limits and you know like I said there's no cap on doing stuff on my truck you know the creativity on it not product creativity uh, versus you know giving the customer what they want and sometimes the ideas that I have it's not necessarily the type of idea that they want so you know we try to stay within the limits of everything so but now we are gonna actually build some really badass stuff for you guys to watch man because we need to drop some fire content so definitely definitely subscribe tomorrow's video man we're gonna go to Home Depot and get this wood and get everything ready because it's time it's, it's definitely time the truck needed a system I needed a new system there's so much flexing that we can do with the trailblazer but we still need to update the trailblazer as well man because it's almost stunting season and we got to you know stunt and you know more than anything man subscribe to the channel hit that like button drop some comments let me know what's good man because it, it is time we, we really show out so once again once again thanks for watching uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video i just want to keep you guys updated uh, you know, I, I really get mad at myself when I don't drop daily videos, man. So even if it's just me just talking to you guys, uh, it makes my day talking to you guys. And I got to make sure I get, at least give you guys something to watch, man. So once again, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, man. Peace.